After you've determined the switch site and the switch, you may want to consider using this free online tool, which will help you determine if you've made a good decision. So you'll go to scanningwizard.com. When the page loads, it'll have you create a new client. You type in the client's name. In this case, we'll do Kathy. You're going to press the create a new client and you're going to begin the new session. The next page gives you an overview of what the scanning wizard can do. So it'll help you to make sure that it, you've configured everything correctly. It'll first give the child a quick switch test, then the actual scan test, and then it'll give you some data and final recommendation. You go ahead and press continue. Today we're going to do the single switch mode, and then I'm going to press continue. First thing it wants to do is make sure that your switch is configured. So I'm going to click on the button that says Start Switch Checkup. And I'm going to press the switch to activate and then continue. The next page gives you an introduction about the test. So you're going to review these skills with your student. And I like to make sure that play audio prompt and feedback during the test is checked. And then I'm going to begin my practice test. Go. 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 If you feel comfortable that your student knows what he's going to have to do, then you're going to go ahead and begin the test. Go. I like that it makes them wait. Go. It takes data on that. Go. Now I'm just going to sit and wait Go. for a while because I'm going to be bored or I'm going to be distracted. So I'm not going to hit the switch so you can see that data as it's collected. Go. Now I'm going to get anxious. Now I've had enough Go. of the test. So now I'm just going to check, 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 Go. check, and check, 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 check. Go. And then I'm going to be done with my eight trials. And now I'm going to see how I did. So I could continue to phase two, but I'm going to go ahead and just show you the test results. So you can see I didn't do very well. I scored in the red zone, which means that probably we need to relook either at the switch, the switch setup, um, the site, and it gives you some suggestions about things that you could do to maybe make things a little bit easier for the child or more accurate, I should say. But here's some other cool things that you can get. You can go to the, ta the data tables and graph, and you can see a summary. So how many average hits did I have, my total score. But I really like the way it does it, gives you the data in kind of a visual. So all those are my extra hits, um, how long I waited, the duration. It gives you quite a bit of data, especially when you consider that this is a free tool. I can also print a report and keep it for um, data collection.